Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Path of the Jedi. How you all doing today? I hope you all have a good afternoon, good morning, good evening. We are back with another episode. And listen to the music, isn't it so peaceful? Isn't it so peaceful? And we got a level up from last episode, I completely forgot about that. Let's go ahead and do some health. So, I have decided that um, we are not going to go necessarily into archery at all. Because uh, I completely forgot that you can actually defeat dragons and whatnot one-handed with one-handed combat. Uh, it just takes a little to do. That's okay. But what we will do with our with our upgraded skill trees, so to speak, is that we will continue to work on. Let's see. That's maces. That's level fifty right there. Um, let's see here. Do we want to do block? Hold on. We can deflect arrows. Arrows that hit the shield do no damage. Nice. There's power bash. Art of blocking an enemy's blows with a shield or weapon. Now, what I'm wondering is, do we... Do we need to have... Um... I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with anything right now. Um... What we could do... So you Novice level... Okay, Conjuration is supposed for half Magicka. This could be good in coinciding with our Force abilities, possibly. But I think we're going to go... Ooh, speech. Actually, we already have that. There's bribery. That could be good, but we're at 25 speech and requires 30. There's allure. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, let's, let's see here. Okay, so we got... Got heavy armor. Which we need to upgrade more. I uh, could do fitted well, although that requires thirty. Uh, Fist of steel that also requires thirty. So okay, so we will get that armor up. Um, let's see, there's block, one-handedness, speech, and light side powers. I think that's those are the traits that were going with novice jedi dual casting apprentice we will get the jedi guardian class but we need uh required level 50 skill in either one or two in combat which we're working on um cast adept level light side spells for half magicka Protection spells like Stone Flesh are twice as strong if not wearing armor. We don't really need to worry about that at the moment. Um, we could do that. I'm also leaning more towards, uh, at the moment, speech. Yeah, let's do speech. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, we have some missions, I believe. Uh, hold on. Items? What are we carrying at the moment? Force push, that's right. Um, let's... No, not there. Let's look at our quests and see... Ah, uh, yes. Last episode, we needed to... We got this mission to bring a gem to Mount Kilkreath. We'll do that a bit later, though. Um... We have a ton of stuff here, though. Join the Imperial Legion. You know what? 
Go in the comments below, guys, and I would like a lot of comments on this, whether I should join the Imperial Legion, or if I should join the Rebellion. Or the Rebels, excuse me. Um, let me know, because I am quite honestly not sure where to go. Uh, keep in mind, I want to keep more towards a Jedi uh, kind of build. Um... I know that really depends on force abilities, but I want to, you know, have people kind of weigh in and say, you know, whether they would like to go to the Imperial Legion or to go to the Rebellion. And uh, by not next episode, but um, say maybe uh, next Tuesday's episode, uh, or not next Tuesday. Let's see, today's Thursday. Go with. Yeah, Tuesday's episode. Next Tuesday's episode. So the next episode, we will um, we will go with uh, whether we go with the Imperial Legion or the Rebel Legion. So wait in the comments and uh, let me know. So we have a mission. Oh, hello. There we go. Heavy armor up to. 29, which is good. Come here, crabs. Ouch. There we go. One handed up to 44. We're getting up there. Okay. So, with that in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unfavorite you and take you guys off. And there we go. So now we only have our lightsabers in hand. I do love the model for this, this armor. I mean, the armor we got last episode, I do love this model. They did a fantastic job, whoever created this, um, working on this and everything. I would love it if the cape flowed, but I totally understand, uh, you know, not being able to do that. It still looks pretty dang good. Alright, here's Ritteran's retreat. Let's go in. Okay, so we are in here now. Okay, the dog is, uh, is done. Can't wait to count out your coins. There we go. I'm trying to level up stuff as much as I possibly can. Um, let's see here. We'll take the gold. We'll take the arrows so we can sell them later. There we go. Take all that. You know, let's go back here and see what happens. You picked a bad time to get lost, Fred. There we go. Get that leveling up. Come here. Okay, heavy armor is up to 30. Think you can take me? Come here. There we go. That way my health can regain a little bit. 
Come here. Come here. I will take you. Whoa. So we got all that stuff. I have a feeling. Oops, no. There we go. Remembering the uh, the controls is interesting. All right, so we have that ability now. Ooh, a treasure map. Very nice. Okay, well, let's do this. We have our Darth Revan armor, obviously. What I'm going to do to get our block up some let's do that. At the very least, do that, because I want... We don't have a second lightsaber on on hand at the moment. And I would like to get our blocking ability up, at the very least. Because that's going to be critical. And back to Skyrim. Oh! I mean, there is another mammoth and whatnot over there. I don't know how our force abilities would would deal with that, but um, I think it might be wise to try to separate the giant from the herd, at least. Let's not deal with it right now. I'm kind of I'm kind of skeptical as to how that would go. But what we will do is go over here towards this fort and complete another mission it looks like. Now we don't have we're not using any archery abilities normally in if I were doing just a normal Skyrim thing, I would probably do an archer build. But this is kind of fun. I've never done like a, a warrior slash tank build before. So um, this is interesting. This is really, really fun. Let's go over here and work on stuff. Apparently, there's a quest over this way. Apparently. Who are you? Sorry about that, guys. My computer went... Or decided to pause there for a moment. A milk drinker like you doing out here. Go home to your mother. That's not very nice. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? God, you're boring. Jeez. You do have a nicer shield, though. Come here. Come here. Hit me. Okay, block is increased. That's it. That's all you've got. Nothing, hear me? Nothing. Son of a. That's right. Hit me. Hit me, I dare you. Oh, it ends now, huh? Come here. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me again. 
Hit me again. There we go. There you go. Give all you can. Apparently we leveled up. Oh. Smart. Come here. Hit me. There you go. Hit me again. There you go. Hit me again. Oh, I'm sure you can. Come here. Come here. Hit me again. Do it. No more. I yield. I yield. Yeah, I'm sure you do. There we go. So we got some good stuff there. Uh-oh. We won't be able to carry much. We can't run. Uh-oh. Uh, foods? Eat some of this stuff. Uh, potions. Um, ay, 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 mm. I also apologize if you hear stuff in the background. That's my folks vacuuming. Uh, doing my job apparently, but oh well. Let's do a steel shield and have a little bit better stuff. You know what? This is ridiculous. Let's level up. Can't do critical charge just yet. Let's go to block and see. Um, or heavy armor, heavy armor, yes, well fitted. We will go with that. Really, after all that? Ugh, we're still too heavy. Um, do that. I really don't want to get rid of stuff. Get rid of you, and then we'll go... I think we need to go sell some things, unfortunately. Yeah, that's... The Empire's there. Okay, well, we, uh... We're doing good. We're doing really good. Um... Keeping my, my saber out for right now. Let's see here. Go ahead and just run for a bit. He can't really run this well in uh, the armor, can he? Kind of weighs him down a bit. Oh well, that's alright. But we will go sell stuff, we will go collect on the bounty. And uh, we will go from there. I think. We got a lot of stuff to sell, that's for sure. Alright, here we go. Into White Run. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this to people. Um, I downloaded some mods for an archery playthrough that I'm doing just on my own. Um, but uh, I have installed an archery pro shop mod, which basically places certain pro shops around Skyrim. White Run, White Run is one of the places. And, um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, they actually got a lot of really nice stuff. Of course, you have to pay for it, uh, but um, 
they have a lot of really nice bows, a lot of all the different types of arrows um, that you could come across in the game. Um, I don't know if they have any armor or not. Like if they have like the nightingale armor or whatnot and all that stuff. Now, I do have the a, a nightingale armor mod installed, though I already know that you can get uh, the Nightingale armor in game, so I am not too concerned about that. So let's begin selling stuff. Let's be let's begin selling some things. We've got small weapons. Looking what do you got for sale? Or deal some damage. Uh, a bit of both actually, but I got some stuff for you. I got a lot of stuff for you. Okay, speech is increased, which is good. Okay. Weapons. Uh arrows. Orcish war axe, pickaxe will keep. Battle axe. Swords, and that's gonna be it. We're gonna probably take down these guys right here um, and we'll go from there good doing business with you let's see here now let's go up this way let us go up this way That's nice. So we're gonna go fulfill this quest up here with the uh, the bounty. I know you. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm glad you know me. I'm glad they know me very well. All right, we're in here. Now, I should be able to go to the Yarrow up here, and he will, uh... Yep, here we go. Um, Bandit Leader's Retreat is done. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Wonderful. Alright. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Absurd that you can't put good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. <laughs> Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. All right. So let me lay yeah, Let me show you this uh, this pro shop real quick here. Um, it's pretty cool actually. I like it a lot. Um, I think it adds to the game a whole bunch. Um, it adds a lot. I think personally for me. Um, I am a Jedi like my father before me, Luke Skywalker. I actually want to, I want to watch more Star Wars. I haven't done that recently. I mean, I, I've, my fiance finally just, uh, caught up with me on Star Wars Rebels season two. Uh, <laughs> okay. All the Star Wars quotes are coming out now. Uh, yeah, Star Wars Re Rebels season two and... I gotta be honest, I'm excited for season three. Thank you, I will. Probably, maybe. But I'm excited for season um, three of Star Wars Rebels, mainly because um, they're bringing in probably one of my favorite non-force-using characters from Star Wars, and that is Admiral Thrawn. I can't, I can't tell you how excited I am. If it's work you need, here, take a look at this. Some of the Yard's men came by and left this bounty left. 
Okay, wonderful. Just let me know. The braggart did swagger and Wait. His blade as he told of old battles. Hold on. What did that say? Quests. Miscellaneous. I thought that said Sam Ganji for a moment. Uh, but no, we will not uh, do that at the moment. But yeah. I'm totally stoked that uh, Admiral Thrawn is um, is uh, is is gonna be in Star Wars Rebels for multiple reasons. One is because he's probably the most best and most effective commander ever. He is real. He's a really effective commander. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. All right. Can I sell some stuff to you? Hopefully. Um, he really is. He he is one of the most effective commanders ever for the Empire. And, uh, there is a reason why, um, there is an Empire and Legacy named after him. So... I, 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 I personally am really, really excited for it. As soon as I saw the art with the figure in my, uh, in hand, I mean, like, here's the thing. There's only so many Imperial Commanders. There's only so many bad guys that you see or have witnessed to looking at art and everything. Um... There's only so many, so I am really stoked that they're bringing Thrawn in. I hope they do justice for the character. I really do, um, and what I mean by that, I, I hope that Disney doesn't screw over his character a whole lot. Uh, you know that that has been known to happen, unfortunately. Um, you know, because I mean. Yeah, it's it's just one of those things. I can discuss about it next episode, but um, I I am really excited for for Thrawn coming in as an official part of the canon and everything, uh, which to me it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, honestly. Why Disney would go this route when clearly uh, they are with you know Rogue One and all that kind of stuff and you know all that stuff and things. Um, apparently that's where we need to go to next. Apparently. But, um, I think that's going to do it for the episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, please Hulk smash that like button and comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. And lastly, please don't forget to... Uh, let me know in the comments below whether Revan goes to the Imperial Legion or the Rebels. Please, uh, please let me know that. Um, I would be very appreciative, because, uh, for me, honestly, I have no clue. I could care less about where I go. I could play both sides. Like I said, I can play both sides. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. But thank you all for watching, everybody. And we will see you next time. And may the Force be ever in your